Hello, today we're going to talk about Smart Photo Editor. This is the same maker as Portrait Professional. Um, if you've watched some of my other videos, you've watched it and how wonderful it is. So today we're going to talk about this and I've got some test photos that I did earlier today. So let's just pull one of those up. And then we're going to start adding some um, filters and stuff, which is what this program is really, really wonderful for. I want to find a good one. <clears throat> And this is a photo of my niece that I took today, so we're going to work on it. And I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. And what this smart photo editor does, it's got a lot of different image treatments. Um, it can add text, it can crop, it can straighten, it can do all kinds of wonderful things. But what I am really in love with is the effects gallery. So let's start there. And we're just going to pan through these and kind of look and see what all kinds of effects that it has. And the wonderful thing about this program is that it it updates the effects as you when you close your program, it always updates the effects. So as you can see, we already have some different effects here. Um and you can kind of flip through. You can go through right here where it says like dramatic and artistic, realistic, and you can check these and it'll change which ones are available. And I'm just going to go through and kind of kind of show you. Um, and you can even get down further and go to like detail and go to soften and you'll get the softer, just the softer filters here. Um, so if we have some that have flash and some that don't, we have abstracts, night and uh, dark. There's all kinds of lovely filters here that I, I would hate to see anybody pass over. These are just absolutely wonderful. These are the type of filters that you would pay lots of money for um, buying them independently to add them in things like Photoshop. So I'm just going to kind of flip through. And this, like I said, this is our soften filter. And it's got all kinds of wonderful things um, available for this one. This is an airbrush here. Um, I can actually adjust this and take this down some right here. This is all about sliders on this one, and, and that's why I love it, is because you can customize each thing the way that you like. And kind of look at it. You can also add um, different filters on top of each other. So if I wanted to add this one, I would push OK. And then I could go back to my effects gallery. And I'm just going to push all effects. And I can go through and look at all of these effects here. And if I liked another one, I could add it on top of it without it being a problem whatsoever. It would be absolutely beautiful and, and wonderful. Um, I just want to kind of give you a look to see what types of different filters there are. I can even change the background on this and not change the foreground. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of wonderful, wonderful aspects of this program, and it's definitely not to be overlooked. And as I said, each one is customizable to what you're looking for. And, and that really helps that it gives you the sliders and the ability to kind of customize these. And see, you have here your highlights, your lights, your darks, your shadows, your highlights. And I can adjust each one of these to affect the photo. I can adjust the master fade to affect the photo. Um, each one of these will affect it independently in some way. And to allow me to kind of bring the warmth in or, or the coolness in like I want. And affect each one separately. 
to get the look I'm going for. All right. So if I want to save this, I could just go up to File, and I could save as a JPEG. Gonna ask where I want to save this. I want to save it on my desktop so I can access this to other programs if I choose. And then we'll go back and look at some of the other things that we have. And we'll talk about um, some image treatments and area treatments, things like that. All right. So, um, I want to see. yes. Um, so this allows you, if you go up to select area, it allows you, it says what area do you want to select? And you can pick the si sky, subject, background, skin, water, ground, stones, metal, plants, and anything else. And um, I want to select the background. All right, so we're going to push OK. All right, so here's your selection here, and we've got to find a soft edge, find a hard edge, or airbrush. And you can use any of these, and so we're going to add this to our selection, and we can take our, our size up some, and we could do it this way. And it's actually looking for a hard edge. If I don't want it to do that, I could just do airbrush and make it do a soft edge. And kind of airbrush in what I'm wanting to select. Just want to make sure you get all of the area that you're going to do. I'm going to take this back down. So this isn't going to be perfect. It's just for demonstration. I just kind of wanted to show you how this program works and how handy it is. I just really love it. You can do some really artistic things with this program. Okay, so I'm going to go back to finding a hard edge so it will make it easier to get around those areas. Hard edges are great when you come to subjects and you've got, you know, the facial features and things like that because it looks for that hard edge and it follows that line. And I can actually, I want to show you this where it's got this brush or paintbrush here. If I actually did, just did the outline, I could just hit that paint bucket and it's going to fill that area for me. And I'm going to erase part of this because I've got our lips in the selection and part of her chin. And I don't want to do that. And I've even got some of her eyelashes and hair right here. All right. So now that we've got that selected, we can go confirm selection and browse effects. So that's kind of what we want to do. I really want to fix her hair right here. So it's not so harsh. All right, so confirm and find effects. All right, so as you can see, it's going to find effects for your background. It can erase your background. It can even do different little things for your background. Yeah, so that, that's what that's what this does. It allows you to select certain things and just add effects just for that. Um, I'm try to make this a little faster. 
I'm not going to be as precise on this one because I just, I didn't mean to close that out and I don't want to have to make everybody wait again. So I'm going to try to do this a little faster here. Like I said, and I'm just finding that hard edge, which is like her clothing, her hand. And then I can go through it and erase where it got over. All right, so we're going to look at effects, and again, it gives you um, artistic, all, it, it kind of gives you trendy, so let's just kind of flip through. It'll even change your background here, and it's all based on what you select. And you can do some really artistic, uh, some artistic things here. Just to give a different effect or a different look. These are absolutely wonderful. And it really is. It's got pages. You know, 627 pages of different effects that you can do here. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but I did want you to kind of see how these work um, and, the, and the different things that you can really do with this. And I'm just going to give that kind of a haze. And I'm going to fade it down just a hair. And there's my effect, and it would add it, add it there. Here, original, and what we've got now. So there are some different types of treatments and things that we can do. We could do an image treatment. And we can fix different things here. We can adjust our brightness and our exposure. All kinds of wonderful things here. To just give you a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere of, of, of creativity here. This is absolutely beautiful. So, um, as I said, if you want to save it, you can do that. You can do compositions where you can and take one picture and paste it on another image. Um, which is wonderful. It's a lot of what Photoshop does. It just makes it really quick and easy to do. It's easy for beginners and those that don't know Photoshop. So if you're interested in doing something creative and artistic and you just really don't have the time to learn Photoshop or aren't interested, and even if you do have Photoshop, I find myself um, taking pictures that I've edited in Photoshop and pulling them over here and adding effects that are quick. Um, when the effects gallery is a lot quicker sometimes than using my filters. So I definitely suggest if you haven't given this a try that you, you open it up, give it a try, and I guarantee that you're absolutely going to love this. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.